Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your bi-weekly forecast horoscope for February 24th to March 9th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And also, if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel, GWZ Mysteries. And all the information is in the description box below. All right, so we're going to be looking at uh, your astrology. No need to get any charts or anything like that. We're going to be using the cards, so just go with your sign you usually go with. And then we're going to go into your romantic love life. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump in. All right, so what's going to happen with my astro uh, Aquarius's <laughs> astrology? I said, uh, never um, for February 24th to March 9th, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got the King of Pentacles. We got the Ten of Cups. We got the Eight of Swords. We got the Seven of Swords. And we got the Six of Swords. Okay, let's move this over here. And let's also look at this as well. What's going to happen with my Aquarius's astrology for February 24th to March 9th? What do they need to know? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Moon. Okay. First house. Scorpio energy. North mood. Okay. Rahu. Okay. And I'm going to pull one more deck here. So far, I can see that you're going to be influenced by your intuition. So your intuition is going to be telling you something about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, or you're kind of figuring out what is going to be the best decision for me for my sense of happiness here. What's How is this going to affect me? Because that's the first house energy. You're going to look into something. You're going to investigate something. You're going to dig deep on it because you know it's there's something that's going to affect your future or what's going to happen in the future, okay, with the North Node coming out. So you're trapping yourself in your thoughts a little bit and you're trying to be very strategic with the Seven of Swords energy. It could be something to do with travel or moving with the Six of Swords energy or something that you are trying to overcome, some kind of obstacle there. How is... Aquarius is astrology going to be effective for February 24th to March 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. And of course, these cards just want to do their own thing. Show me the cards I need to see. There we go. Yes, it's about. Uh, your wish fulfillment here and an indecision and we see that there's a sense of lack of control around the situation so you feel like you don't have any control uh, about it and you're trying to detach yourself um, and I get the sense that you're trying to go within to try to figure this out but when you do figure this out you're gonna come at this full force you're going to come at this full force and you're going to be very strategic because that's the seven of swords for me. If it's not lying in deception, it's not something, obviously Scorpio energy is a kind of like a deceptive kind of energy, right? So you're trapped in your thoughts about the lying and deception, what you're not seeing about the situation, but it does look like you'll overcome these obstacles with the six of swords energy. So first it starts out with you perceiving, okay, my intuition is telling me something about the situation. I want to make the best decision so I can fulfill my desires here. I'm at a crossroads. Will I be happy, completely happy with this situation? Because there's a sense of a lack of control here that I really wanted to detach from. And um, you're like stuck in your thoughts about it. And then you realize you're like, okay, I need to dig deep on this. I need to see what's hidden beneath the surface and investigate this. Um, and we do see that you'll overcome this situation with the Six of Swords energy. You'll really come at this like, hey, this is what I found out. Okay, so let's get more information here. How is uh, Aquarius's astrology gonna be effective for February 24th 
to March 9th. What do they need to know? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. So I get the sense you're going to gain some kind of wisdom here and a sense of accomplishment and the efforts that you're going to be putting into these thoughts to recover from this situation. Okay? Yes, you're going to get what you want here. It is something surrounding a friendship and a new beginning. Okay? There will be a celebration, something, a happy outcome around this, okay? When it comes to your abundance of uh, prosperity. So this is involving money and finance. It's something you've been praying for and something big is gonna change around this situation when it comes to work and effort because you know this is a part of your destiny. And again, that's the North Node, that is destiny. So this situation is gonna be a part of your destiny. So let's move into your romantic love life now, Aquarius. All the decks, by the way, because I know I've gotten the comments a couple times, all the decks are either listed below in the description box, and if it's not the complete list, if it's not that none of these are on there, then it's on my website. So you can find a complete list on my website. I listed every single deck that I, uh, that I use in the readings on my website. Okay, so what's gonna happen with my Aquarius's romantic love life for February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's some kind of energy coming in, a lot of energy coming in. Uh, eights talk about effort and work, something that's really growing or gaining momentum there with the Eight of Wands energy. Also, Eight of Wands can talk about some type of communication. Uh, something is coming in fast there with the Eight of Wands energy. <laughs> yeah, very fast with the Knight of Wands energy. It looks like it's passionate in nature with the Knight of Wands energy. Okay, Aries said Terry's Lou energy. It looks like something passionate could be turning into something a little bit more serious here with the King of Pentacles energy. Okay. Uh, Taurus Virgo, or you could be dealing with an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Okay. All right, um, let me go further here. I'm gonna lay down all the cards. I wanna see who's coming towards you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. All right, what's the influence here? So your influence seems to be a lot of soul searching going on here with the Hermit card energy. And the person who's coming towards you, you feel really makes you completely happy. So think about that person, who's that person? who would make you completely happy. If you're single, then it's somebody that's about to make you completely happy with the 10 of cups energy. It's like you can see a future with this person. This is how happy this person is gonna make you, okay? Your advice is nine of swords, which is telling me there's nothing to worry about. There's no worry and concerns here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we see, man, I'm stuck in the middle. I need to make some kind of sacrifice. I'm still overcoming a lot of hurt and pain here with the Ten of Swords energy. There's a power move being made here to get your attention, Six of Wands energy. All right, let's use, let's use the Kipper card deck to see what's going on here in more clarity. So far we can see lots of uh, energy being put towards passion there with the Knight of Wands energy, passion exercises there. And we also see, um, a contemplation about, well, you know, I want to make the best decision when it's based on something stable. Like I want some kind of growth here. I want something solid here. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term. Okay, so what's gonna have my Aquarius's romantic love life? February 24th to March 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So this could be an older individual, okay? Could be older than you, or this could be saying that um, this is somebody who's trying to give some kind of good advice to you. There's been some kind of expectations here, some kind of waiting, which caused some kind of sad news, okay? Or concerns about expectations of sad news. It's like there is a good advice or good communication, you know, good advice, from this communication, and we see a lot of passion, but the, you're concerned that the expectations or the waiting around will cause some kind of sad news. Okay, so, or the person is. So let's go further. What's gonna have my Aquarius's romantic love life for 
February 24th to March 9th. I get the sense that someone's trying to look out for you. Someone's trying to look out for you. Okay. It could be a person who has a kid or a child already. Okay. Anyway, there's this very cautious energy here because it's like, it has to be safe for me to love, right? So you're trying to make a decision here about this opportunity, okay. So you're very cautious and defensive here with the Nine of Wands energy. Because possibly because of money or really a lot of caution. This can talk a lot of something. Lots of caution. Lots of defensive energy. Um, it does look like there's a person who really misses you. And it looks like this person who really misses you wants to speak to you. Queen of Swords energy. They're going to share their thoughts with you with the Thoughts card energy about family, family conflict, and how to heal the situation. Again, someone is deeply thinking about you with the Four of Swords energy. And we see there's a great happiness around this. And you're really thinking about this person very deeply or this person's thinking about you very deeply. Wow, King of Cups is coming out, showing me. Deep love here, King of Cups energy. Someone's coming across like they very much deeply love you, okay, with the King of Cups energy. And uh, looks like they're going to give you some kind of gift or bring some kind of surprise or give you some kind of surprise here or this is gonna be a surprise to you. Because they're making a power move. That's like the Emperor card energy, which is the minor of the kings. The kings are the minor of the emperor. So we see temperance is very healing energy. Temperance card tells me things are going to come into balance for you. When it comes to this isolation and separation of this person, the timing is right. Wheel of Fortune energy. And it's like, I'm trapped in my thoughts. My hands are tied. I keep going around in circles here about a person, and I'm shocked and surprised. Hmm, okay, let's bring this together. There's a very cautious defensive energy. This person misses you, they're making a power move. It's like you're gonna have to make a decision very soon about this family situation long-term, because the timing is right, they're presenting an opportunity. You're doing some deep, heavy soul searching because you're really shocked and surprised about this person coming forward here. Looks like somebody you were separated from, someone you were distant from, Aquarius. Um, yeah, you're at a crossroads because you have new love here. And now you have uncertainty and you're trying to listen to your intuition, delay this situation before you make the effort towards a relationship. I see. Oh my goodness, okay. So we see a person card uh, and gaining a lot of surprises here. You're gaining a lot of surprises and there was some kind of expectation or waiting and someone's thoughts, planning of this isolation or separation that caused sad news, now great happiness, but we have this other person here. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, let's go down the layer here. So communication comes in about this, this person that, that you're a little bit cautious and defensive about, but there, it's a deep love with the King of Cups energy. And we see that there's this passionate energy here and a truth being spoken about, you know? So you're not, I don't, I don't get the sense that you're like, I don't know what I wanna do here as far as commitment goes. I need to make the best decision. And this person's gonna speak their truth. The one that has hurt you is gonna speak their truth to try to heal this connection. And you're like, but you know, I wanna make the best decision on the long term. King of Pentacles energy, I need to think about this and I'm trapped in my thoughts. That's where we, we're stuck here at. We're stuck in your thoughts about what to do. Your advice is saying, don't worry. Don't have concern about this. There's no, nothing to worry about. And you're thinking about something very deeply as the influence. Yeah, main person is thinking deeply. Who's coming towards you? Someone who wants to spend some alone time with you. And we see you can lean on someone else for support here. Or don't worry about what this person thinks. This is a motherly energy. Mm, okay. This is a person who is a nurturing and supportive energy or saying ask for some advice from this person. Okay. 
This is making you happy though with the Ten of Cups, this influence here, and it looks like they're gonna talk with you. Obviously, they're speaking their truth. If I go this way, um, passion, Knight of Wands energy, or this lack of commitment caused this defensive energy and a healing that you're thinking about. Communication from this deep love, but trapped in your thoughts about, all right, is this gonna be a real stable situation? King of Pentacles. So in the past, it may have been just very passionate in nature and your concern, okay? Are they gonna commit this time, you know? Are we gonna have a future together? And you're trapped in your thoughts about this. Okay, going down the layer here, advice. Focus on what makes you happy. A lot of positive energy surrounds this. Okay, with this situation here, Aquarius, because this is obviously a person who was distant from you, um, separated from you, or you distance yourself from them or separated from them. Uh, I would say look at the true intentions reading, uh, their true feelings reading, but I mean, they're coming in as the King of Cups. So they're coming in stable this time. And there is a patient energy into healing because of this, you know, you're trapped in your thoughts, you're, you're trapped in your head about it with the Knight of, Eight of Swords energy. So we look at the numbers. Effort or work is being put into an action, but wisdom here and cautiousness in speaking this truth in some stable situation, wisdom about being patient before putting the work or effort into this eight of pentacle, eight of uh, swords. Well, the best bet is just to get you guys some advice, right? So let's do that. So we see deep, heavy soul searching about the sense of happiness, but worried and concerned, having some sleepless nights. Me in person, alone time together, and we see someone who's trying to give some advice, complete happiness about this conversation and a lot of happiness around this conversation. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Can I send back to my Aquariuses when it comes to their romantic love life for the highest best good for the best possible outcome for them for February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Knight of Cups says take actions of love. Don't avoid this situation. Okay, so don't avoid the situation or it's saying you can walk away and end this altogether. Okay, so you can take actions of love or um, walk away from the situation and end it altogether for a new beginning. We see, look at the long term and we see there's a potential opportunity here, a passion that you're gonna have to leave out in the cold by the pentacles energy. Don't be overwhelmed by this. You need to get over this hurt and pain, Ten of Swords energy, or it's time to release this hurt and pain, Ten of Swords energy. But give it some time and see how things play out, Seven of Pentacles energy. Okay. Okay, so it's time to get over this loss. You have this new opportunity. So you do have this new situation, right? You have this new situation, but then you have this person who you're in love with here. So they're saying you could go take actions towards your heart or walk away from the situation and just end it for this new situation here. But Spirit is saying really examine this and look at the long term and don't let this weigh heavy on you. But when it comes to this hurt and pain, if you're really going to move forward, you got to let go of this hurt and pain, Ten of Swords energy, and really complete this and give yourself some time to do that. Seven of Pentacles energy. All right, my beautiful Aquariuses. I love you guys so much. I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. If you feel comfortable, I'd love to hear your own personal situation or if this resonates with you or you claim this reading, let me know in the comments below. I do love reading your comments, guys. I do read my comments. So I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another date or two. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you guys soon.